Hi everyone, it's Jan Diatri and I'm back in the Eye Health Kitchen. Today, I have a simple and delicious recipe for you. Today we're gonna to make homemade nut butter, peanut butter, toasted almond butter, cashew butter, whatever you like. And it's so simple, it just requires a few ingredients. Now I'm using my little countertop mini prep here. It makes peanut butter so, so quickly. You've got a lot of choices. You can use salted roasted peanuts, you can use salted roasted cashews, or you could use toasted almonds. And on the recipe I've got the instructions for blanching and toasting your own almonds. Almonds. So delicious. So it's your choice. Today I'm going to use one cup of salted roasted peanuts. And then you need to add a little oil. And again, you've got so many choices. Vegetable oil, sunflower oil, you've got sesame oil, walnut oil. But I'm going to use a little bit of um, almond oil today. And it just requires two tablespoons. And then we need something sweet. And again, you've got so many choices today. You've got some agave nectar, which is so, so popular. You can use honey, which 100% pure raw and unfiltered honey, which really gives that peanut butter such a delicious flavor. My personal favorite right now is coconut uh, sugar. Just love it. It tastes like kind of a nutty brown sugar. So, but I'm going to use agave nectar today. And so again, we just want two tablespoons. So it's two tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of sweetener. And that is all there is to it. We're just gonna give that a little bit of a blend. And that's about all there is to it. Now you can continue to blend it to make it a smooth peanut butter. I kinda like it coarse and crunchy. Look at this. Now, if you want it even a little bit smoother, you can add more oil, but look at that. That, it doesn't get any more beautiful than homemade nut butter, and it's so simple. No preservatives, no additives, just nothing but goodness. Now, what are we gonna do with this homemade nut butter? I say we make a very simple, four ingredient peanut butter cookie that I think you're gonna love. It's great for the kids, it stores well. So what you're gonna need is one cup of that peanut butter. You're gonna need a sweetener, so I'm gonna use the coconut sugar. And to bind it a little bit, I've got some whole wheat flour, and then just a pinch of salt, and one egg. Just blend the egg a little bit, and that's all there is to the ingredients for this peanut butter cookie. I've blended up a batch right here. I'm just gonna take a little scoop of this, Look at how nice this is. This is homemade nut butter, and I'm just gonna roll it up just like that. About a, maybe about an inch in diameter. You're gonna get your oven going at about 350 degrees. Now, you don't wanna overcook these cookies, so about eight minutes in the oven. And of course, to make it look like the authentic peanut butter cookies, we're gonna get our fork and just give it a little tic-tac-toe right on top. Again, don't overcook. Those go in the oven for eight minutes. I've just got some already cooked for you to show you how beautiful these look. And I say if you're gonna make these cookies, make lots of batches, because I think the kids, I think everybody in the family is gonna absolutely love these. And there you go, homemade peanut butter. Ooh, that's beautiful, look at that. Oh, homemade peanut butter and then homemade peanut butter cookies. Absolutely a delightful and really healthy treat. I gotta have one for myself. We've got the recipe for you right here at Eye Health Networks. Ooh, that's hot. Eye Health Networks. And uh, I've got all the instructions for you. Come back often and visit us and give us an email because we'd love to know what's cooking in your kitchen. And we'll see you next time in the Eye Health Kitchen.